No, oh. I mean, oh, rip! Everyone's, that's, look, 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 watch it. They get Max, Finally. you see? Right. And if you've got the shirt at the moment, don't be giving it up. Toby, can he get through? Go on, Toby. Yes! There it is. Head run. See? Can he get across? All right, guys, how you doing? And welcome back to another Hashtag United game. Back at home in the league against Stowe Market. Okay, this is going to be a big game because they're expected to be right up there at the end of the season. They were in the playoffs last year. We had two fantastic games with them last year, both ending in a draw. Probably a bit fortunate to get the nil-nil away from home against them. But came, uh, when they came here, we were 3-1 up and we ended up drawing 3 all thanks to a last-minute worldie from one of Stowe Market's best players. So we're hopefully not going to see one of them today. One thing we are going to see is a brand new sign. Something I'm very happy about. Someone I'm very happy to welcome to the club. I've actually been a fan of this man for a long time. Once I watched him tear West Ham to shreds as a young Reading player in a pre-season friendly nearly, oh, I think it's about 15, 16 years ago. He is an elder statesman, 37 years old, but the most experienced player we've ever signed. You know what? He's got 28 Premier League appearances. He has got over 300 championship appearances, over 150 League One appearances. He was voted once the, in the League One PFA Player of the Year. He's got four caps for England under 20s and one goal. Do you know who I'm talking about yet? Maybe not. He stands six foot four tall. He has played in every position, outfield at least, in his career. Left back, centre back, right back, centre mid, left mid, right mid, and up front. He scored over 60 league goals. His name, Greg Halford, is a tag. He's in and he starts today. First off, I know most of you have met him now, but welcome Greg in. Greg comes in, he's got loads of experience. Um, listen to him when you're out there. Yeah, because it, it will be giving you good information. Um, so, but as ever, as we always do, make him welcome, yeah? Today, a little bit about them. They're a good side, so they had a couple of disappointing results that suggest that they could be a little bit, and, and we're gonna face this both, both games over the weekend, but a bit of a wounded animal, which makes them dangerous because they will be demanding a lift and a performance out of them. We've got to make sure that we lift our levels because we will have to be a lot better than we la were last week because it's going to be a lot tougher game. I expect them to be a 4-3-3. Three, three. Got dangerous wide players that are prepared to come inside. All right? even, though, even if they're coming in and, and they'll, they'll interchange, but when, and we need to work it out quickly when they're going on to inside into their weaker foot. And it's okay to show inside, but when we do, we've got to make sure we get on the cover and we screen and we get round and we don't allow them to come through and bounce off. Come on, it's a good test for us today. See where we're at. Let's don't let ourselves down. Come on. So in goal, Anthony Page. At set and a half, Greg Halford comes in for his debut as discussed, and he partners Tom Anderson, who missed last game, but he's back in the side today. Special shout out to Harry Hayson, by the way, because if he'd played today, he would have officially beaten my record of the most consecutive hashtag United appearances. Instead, he equaled me last week on 43 appearances. He's gonna have to start that run again. My record still stands for now. Left back, Matt Waldridge keeps his place, as does Billy Willis at right back. In centre mid, it's again the same middle three we saw in the FA Cup uh, last week. Max Cornhill, Lewis Watson and Yoni Vukaj. And ahead of them, we have Pedro Carvalho on the left, Toby Aroma Laren on the right, and Alex Teniola, who opened his hashtag account last week, is up front. On the bench, that leaves Iman Akunja, Philp, Hyde, Afo Siemi and Eli Benoit. Up the tags. This is a big game. Let's go for it. And we are underway here for Hashtag's third league game of the season, second home game. I'm joined by PK Humble on the mic for the first time. Mr. Tags. Mr. Jinky Majinky's here. Yeah, we might need a definition on that by the end of the day. If people are wondering in the comments what exactly Jinky Majinky means, ca can you define it? I, I want to see what the comments have to say Okay. and, yeah, and see what they think Jinky Majinky is. Leave us a comment below. What does Jinky Majinky mean? You've got this and one more game left in your suspension, And PK. then I'm back. I'm dying for it. I scored a goal for the reserves. Ooh. Ooh. Here is Stone Market coming forward of Jack Wilkinson. Plays it into the danger man, Thompson Lamb. You do not want to let this man shoot from any angle on either feet, either, because he's very ambidextrous, very capable attacking player. But it goes out to the right here. They've got some players at the back post asking for it, but it doesn't make it. And it's a big clearance there from Pedro. Yeah, both games in Stone Market last year were super, super tight games. Nil-nil at their place. Free all here. Free all, yeah. We, we should have won it as well. We're free one up. And they oh. scored a, the third they scored in the 94th minute from the number nine. Worldy left foot curled it. 
killer. That probably is what actually put the dent in our playoff hopes last year, that result. That game there, Because yeah. they were second in the league at the time. And we were probably about seventh or eighth. Here they are on the ball here, though, with Jack Wilkinson. Whips it in. Chance at the back post. Oh, you know what? There was a collision, but I actually think it was actually the Stone Market man that ran into ran Matt into, Waldridge. Yeah. 15 minutes gone. Neither team really troubling either goalkeeper yet. Yoni trying to oh, left foot pass. Play, Yoni. Teniola flicks oh. it. It's going to oh, come back Pedro. post. Pedro keeps it alive. He's got Matty Waldridge for some support. Uses him with a little back heel. Waldridge left foot, cross in. Oh. Keeper comes and gets something on it. And it was enough to take it away from Teniola. Not a bad cross on the left foot. Great cross in the left foot. Tiger Woods. Have a swing at that. But now Upson can just slow things down for Stone Market. Tom Anderson might have given away a free kick there. Calling for the offside, doesn't get it. Stone Market can have a long ranger here with Upson. Tom Anderson deflects it. There you go, Toby I can get it. away I here, that's it. fantastic. Make the box. Running down the right side, he's got Yoni busting a gut. And Carvalho at the back post. Can he find one of them? Headed away by the number four, Tevin Allen. Toby done that a lot this year. He's just like the ball comes into him and he just spins the fullback and he's in and it's unreal. I love it. Got Cornhill, Watson, Hallford, Anderson all in the box. And it is oh. Cornhill. What a save that was, by the way. Put it back in, you got a touch. Oh, great awareness. Great first touch from Toby, though. Second touch took him into trouble. His third one was good, though. Back in again. So Looking for Teniola. We're getting balls into the box, aren't we? Oh, Toby. Chance. Toby takes it down in the box. Can he lay it off to someone? Pedro! Oh. Straight at the keeper. If that's either side of him, I think it goes in. That goes straight in. He's just passed it to the keeper. I, there you have it. It was a nice link up, though. There you go. Nick it. Ooh. We'll have this. Cornhill. Plays it out wide to Toby. Teniola and Carvalho are going to enter the box. Toby might not need them, though. Goes one way. Goes the other. Oh, could have maybe oh, got a pen a there. A pen there, innit? Who's marking the 10? I think it's Greg. Waldridge gets ahead on that. Toby, can you clear it? Pedro, can you go? Can you go? If he can get this away, he's one-on-one. -on -one. And look at Lewis Watson busting a gut on the right side, trying to get free. Pedro using his pace. He's still got a chance there, there Pedro. Does he oh, get a shot he's off? he's got to give it to Toby there. Can he get the shot off? He does. Oh, I think he's got to give it to Toby early. Pedro. Oh, oh sloppy. Now they've got a chance here. They find Bamant. He's a bit isolated at the minute, so he'll probably have to turn back. Picks out a good pass, though, to Upson, who don't let him shoot. Comes over to Zilonka. He gets it over to the right back. Cross comes in. Cornhill heads Someone's away. Someone's got to go out. Only as far as Wilkinson. Tom Anderson deflects it for a corner. Corner comes in. Header at the back post. Oh, wow, it's hit the wrong player. It's hit Bamman. That was definitely going oh, in. Yeah, that was going straight in. Their own player's done us a favour. It's the only downside to having like a massive six foot three striker is that he can get in the way of <laughs> shots because he's so big. Maybe he's just a tag. That's what it is. It's a tag in disguise. Yeah. Well, I don't think he's making friends with Tom Anderson so far <laughs> this game. So, Stone Market looking like they're in the ascendancy right now. Oh. And Thompson Lamb gets past Captain Lewis Watson. Left foot pass in towards Greg. Oh, oh wow. No. That is a... Quite spectacular own goal on his debut. It happens. He's been he's been terrific. It was a weird one because he's kind of wrapped his right foot around his left leg when maybe you think, could he have sent it out of his left foot? I don't know. I don't, I don't think know. so. You know, I think he's because he's backpedaling. Yeah. He's literally just stretched out the, the back of his foot and just tried to get any sort of contact on it. I mean, yeah, Pagey couldn't do anything about it. it had the perfect loop on it to go over him. So Stone Market take the lead. But listen, if there's one player on the pitch who actually has the probably the experience and the composure to handle an own goal like that, it would be the new man. So let's, let's not get too hasty. I've, I'm pretty confident he's going to be very important for us this game and many other games. And also, he's looked so good, hasn't he, so far? He's, been he's, he's, been, he's looked so composed. Oh, it's a good turn for Pedro. Is he going to get there? He's still going. There we go. Come on, Pedro's hits it. Deflected. Oh. Could have gone anywhere. Right, come on, boys. Pedders to deliver. Little He's lofted one it. in. Cornhill oh. once again wins it in the box but can't direct it goalwards. Pedro Carvalho. Come on. 
Can great make time. Something happen? We scored right on the strike of half time last week. He's trying to do it here oh. himself from distance, but that's not going to trouble the keeper. And we're in injury time now. And we're not going to play any. That is it. First half is over. Tags 1 0 down. But if you take out the freak own goal that we conceded, I do think we've been the better side. I think there's plenty of room for improvement and we can still get the win. I agree. I feel like we'll, come, we'll probably come, come into the second half strong and probably get something early and then just see where it goes from there. Come on, boys. Let's see what Devs has to say. We've got to be better with the ball. But without the ball and the goal comes from it, it starts, actually, it starts with our possession. All right? You give the ball away. Sloppy pass, blind. And it's not that you give the ball away, right? Because I can be angry at people giving the ball away, but ultimately they're, they're, they're mistakes, right? But then you drift and you ball watch and he gives the ball away and you're drifting ball watching. And all of a sudden, we're having to defend overloads, both sides of the pitch, because we've not run hard enough to get back in to make up for our mistake or our teammates' mistake. Because if you're going to give the ball away, you've got to run your nuts off to get back in and make up for it. Because what we've allowed them to do, and as sloppy as we were, we were the better side until they scored, and then they've been able to take the sting out of the game, and we've allowed it to happen. Because they look fragile. They, they've started the game like a, a fragile team that just wants to be, div that needs a point, that needs to stop the little run of games they've had without picking up a win. That's how they look. We've just got to have a bit more belief about us, because we look like, some of us look like, we're just a bit dead on the feet and that's no good. That's no good. Because I'm telling you now, you look around, like the competition in this squad in a week's time is going to be fierce. Right? And if you've got the shirt at the moment, don't be giving it up because it's okay at the moment because we're a bit stretched. It's not because it won't be that case for long. Come on. Come on. Lift. And we are back underway for the second half. 45 minutes ahead that are going to require something special, PK. It's, it's coming, it's coming. We've got a lot of magicians out there, so I'm not scared. I ain't worried. Someone needs to get their wand out for the lads. Oh, that's a great touch from Alan. Alan and Yoni's been a real battle today, yeah, hasn't they're it? they're going at it. They're going at it. Battles that I love to see. You have to say, the last few, Alan has won. Yeah. But Yoni's not giving up. He doesn't. He doesn't give up. Toby, can Alan we get you up the pitch? Alan doesn't give up as well. See, that's great from Toby. We need to get him on the ball yeah. 20, 30 yards higher up. He just gets us up that pitch. He just likes to be so direct and drive at players. And you need, you always need that. Big ball in here oh. from Tom Anderson towards Pedro. Hold Pedro. it up, Pedders. Oh. He's going to get it here. No! Ref! That is such a poor decision. Are you joking? That is such a poor decision. What a stinker from the ref there. Is that a howler? Look at Greg trying to get us up this pitch. Picks out a good pass. Waldridge. Pedro again. There you go. Cross your man. Lovely. Love that. Come on. He does that very well. Get across his man. Yoni's an option out left. Gives it to him. We're lacking left footers like you say. But Yoni can get it in on the right foot. Toby chests it. Trying to keep it alive. No. Not having that. Oh, oh. That's Everyone's look, 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 look watch it. They get Finally. Maxi. You see, he's got around them. They're all getting around him now. You, you don't think they're going to get anything for that, though, do you? Nah, you're not getting that. You're not getting up it. I don't think they'll even get a card. Uh, would he have given that if we hadn't got round him? I don't know if he'd have given the uh, yellow. You never know. It's the, the free kick was done, but I don't know. More importantly, PK, who do you want taking this? Because oh. it's very close. It is very close. Greg's standing over it, though. Greg fancies himself. Greg or Yoni, Yoni, Yoni's got great, very good technique. Here we go. Yoni! It's just so hard to get it up and down in time. Back to Hallford. He's gone for a big switch. You know what? He's, he's, it's actually an unreal ball. Toby's got to keep this in. I don't know what he used. Did he knock the ball out or was it? Toby stabbed oh, it over. How? Someone's got, that's a tap in for someone. It's a little punch of a delivery that was. Very Come on, well. right, we've got an in-swinger here. Pedro, lofts it in. Oh. Once again, caught by the keeper. Keeper we've can't catch it. To start Who's making these counts. Down? Is that Max? Max is that? No, it's not Max. I think that's Greg. It's Greg down. Well, I did not see anything there, did you? Nah. Oh, but he's telling keeper. even the uh, opposition player is saying, get over, get over, get over. Some sort of facial injury. Yoni's made way. Iman Akunja is on. Could this be his moment? 
to make himself a very, very popular man in Hashtag City. Oh, that's, that's a foul. foul. Referees let that go as well. That's dangerous. Oh, oh that's a good pass. Sideline, no, no. He says no. That was a baggy touch. That's in the woods, that is. We haven't seen that ball again. Come on, boys. We've got to add at least three or four minutes on, at least. So we should have oh, about 20 five minutes. Five or six. Yeah, I hope so. Come on. Is it a corner? I thought it was a throw-in. Oh, he's booking him. Booking him, what's that for time wasting? Come on. Play it, play it, AT. That's fantastic oh. from you. Go on, Toby. Toby, can he get through? Go on, Toby. Yes. No. Oh. He made it. Oh, yes. oh, no, he's offside. No way. He's offside. No way. Oh, my God. There's no, no. way. There's Are no way he's offside. Me? That can't be offside, is it? That can't be offside. Oh, no. Don't do this to and me. And the ref's even having to chat with the lino, I think. Or he's, he's not talking to the lino. Or he's going to talk to the lino. He ain't talking to the lino. He's just called someone in over to him. By the way, what a ball from AT. What a ball. What a hit from Toby. And I thought oh. E-Man was going to be the substitute hero. Alagana Solskjaer. They've, they've nicked it from us there. That is... I can't. I mean, we don't have the replays yet. You guys watching at home, you'll have seen the replays already. Was he onside or was he offside? Let us know in the comments because we don't know. That feels like a, 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 a sword in my heart. That would have been perfect timing as well, PK. Loads of time to go and get a winner. Oh, that's hurt me. That's hurt me. AT has literally done his job to perfection there. Held, He's held it. it up, kicked it up, sent it. Toby still had a fair bit to do. Yeah, he did. I really hope, and I know it sounds weird, but I really hope the linesman was right. Because if I find out that's wrong when I get I'm home... I'm going to be fuming. Do punish. Something, do something. Punish, boys. Waldridge on the overlap. Pedro's going to do it himself. Little left foot. Dink into the box! Oh, my God. Someone's got to be on the keeper there. Keeper's got to punch away. Relatively unopposed in the end. Billy Willis, little dink in. For Teddy oh, Ola on the acrobatic bi bicycle kick, really, wasn't it? Yeah. Throw in for Greg's gonna take it. Come on, Greg, let's get this one right in the in the mixer. Oh, he's put it straight in there. Oh, it's bounced. It's I think a great like flag. Oh. Pedro back post. Toby. Toby. Oh, oh my Lewis God, who's just shot that? Who shot that? Lewis Watson with a chance to score oh, his first no. hashtag goal. That was close. That was a big opportunity, PK. I think there was someone behind him as well. I think it was Toby behind him. Yeah, he was. Come on, Teniola. Oh, great, great touch. touch. Can you get someone else in? Love that. Toby running through. It's a foul there. Oh, so many fouls there, Rip. E man, e -man, go, go. Times, e man got I think E man could get something there, you know. Toby got continued. fouled twice in that at least. At least twice. Yeah, twice, definitely twice. But this free kick ain't gonna help us. It's not we ain't got no one on the pitch that can really Maybe do something. Maybe Greg's gonna just same authority here. Greg's out. Oh, play. How good would it be if Greg gets an equal? Oh, here? my God. Come I'm on. going crazy. If he does it. I'm going crazy. I might have to get Greg a Holford tattooed on my back of my face. <laughs> Come on. Although, Pedro's also standing over it. But I don't think he's going to hit it Pedro, Pe Pe Pedro, Pedro's not hitting it with his left foot, no. though. He's not left foot. Oh, mate. If Greg scores this. He might just try and... Greg Holford here. Goes there to Pedro. You see? Put it across. Yeah! has got it off Greg yeah! he's been it PK's buzzing RIP headphone yeah! users yeah! okay 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 so I think it's an own goal off the keeper guys and we've still got five minutes it's Joe DeBell getting involved so that is. was your Gary Neville moment I think <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> guys you can tell oh we're excited can't you oh my god you unbelievable scenes Jeff they put it down. Back to you, Alan in the gantry. <laughs> it's gone down as Pedro goal, but I think it's an own goal for the keeper. But we'll take it. Come Listen, on. what? But I said it to you in the first half. I said, you see, off the off the free kicks and that, yeah. you've got to try something. Yeah. And that's his experience showing, you know, because he's probably led that and said, you know what, boys, let's try to do something. We all thought he was going to hit it, didn't we? He yeah. told us. He told us all. We all thought that was going to be here. 
So if that is a Pedro goal, it means it's a Greg Holford assist. Get rid. I'm happy with that. Oh, Pedro. Waldridge, look at Matty Waldridge going for it. Watch us go. Toby wants it. Matty Waldridge gets it. He's got Toby with him. He finds him. Pedro will take it. Loads of players in the box. Pedro can find delivery on his left foot. Ref! Free kick, free kick. Come there on, we boy. Go. Get Greg in that box. Let that goal score a goal. Here we go. Pedro Carvalho to deliver. Puts it in low. Oh. Cleared. He's probably got a couple minutes left, I reckon. And there's the final oh, there's whistle. The whistle. And listen, you have to say, it's a good point in the sense of the way the game's gone. But having said that, we, we gave them their, their goal and they didn't yeah. really trouble us other than that. No, nah, but it was the road to redemption. Greg yeah. made it back. He, he did. He, he made the goal. Yeah, it's true. What do you think of the game though in general, PK? I think these lot are meant to be, they're tipped to be one of the better teams in the league. Yeah. And we just showed, we showed what we're capable of doing and what we are going to be doing throughout the season. So it, it's good. It's very good. You think about how many players missing as well, like yeah. Haysom, Francis, yourself, Brooks, Apenteng, plenty of others. Um, you need to pick a man of the match though, please. Player of the match. Oh, player of the match. I'm going to go with Toby today, you know. Yeah? Okay. I'm right going to go with Toby. I think he, wor he, wor he worked from start to finish, caused them absolute problems. Greg as well. But then again, oh, Greg. Greg uh, was good, but maybe the own goal counts him out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go with Toby. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. Well, it's been a pleasure, PK. We look forward to seeing you back on the pitch soon. Uh, guys, it is a draw. It, it's always better to be the team that equalises and gets the draw rather than the team that threw it away. So we'll be a happy change room, I imagine. We've got another game in 48 hours against Brentwood, who I can tell you just lost 3-0 to Grays. So that's a big game for them. It's a big game for us. We'll see you there. But before we leave, let's see what Devs has to say in the changing rooms. That is the very least you deserved. Very least deserved. It's a difficult one because we're frustrated with our, with our kind of performance levels. But equally, equally, we're playing a side that will be right up there and have made them look ordinary for long periods. And it's one of those where we probably have to look back and we can be and we need to be better. But what we did show in the second half in particular is that you haven't got to be at your best. You haven't got, and we say it all the time, you haven't got to be good to win games of football. Right? And whilst we weren't great second half, we just got better in terms of our decision making. We ran a little bit harder and things and, and, and chances opened up for us. The difference, I mean, you're getting side down on the edge of the box because you're on the front foot, Tobes, and you're breaking them when they're static. And in the first half, it was the other way round. And when you try, people are scared of pace and you're unplayable when you go and do things like that. Yeah? And that's all it is. It's about belief being on the front and anticipation. And there was anticipation second half that wasn't there first half. And it's the least you deserve, the very, very least. Good effort, well done. Toby, player and match then today. Uh, after that one, or George, do you think frustrating is the right word? Yeah, very, very frustrating because I feel like we deserved the three points, yeah. It's a one-all draw, they scored first. I feel like they took a lot of momentum out of the game because we started fast um, and it's a free cone goal. <laughs> freak and then we've scored we've got the ball in the back of the net um and then we scored another as well so i feel like it should have ended 2-1 at least today and uh, and on that goal that you've mentioned do you think we were robbed actually because there's a few few murmurs that it wasn't offside well i've asked the lino and he said that two players were behind the goalkeeper and that led to an offside player touching the ball and scoring so i was like how is that even possible when they're on my left side when I'm taking a shot. So when the ball's left my foot, surely he's either behind me or the two players cannot be behind the goalkeeper because the goalkeeper's in front of me. So I, I don't know. I don't know about all the rules and all the technicalities, but um, run the clip and make your own view on it. And uh, you've got PK to thank for player of the match. Were you, you, you were surprised when I came in and told you you were player of the match. Um, what do you have to say to PK? I thought it was going to be Greg because that was a brilliant goal. Um, yeah, so uh, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, it's always good. I felt like that was just a normal game for me. Um, so if that's the player of the match, then I should get one every week. Right, that is it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It's a draw against a decent Stowe Market team. We've got another game very soon, so we'll see you in the video for that one. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. You can see the league table now. We're still sitting around the sort of mid-range area, but we've got a lot of games to go, and we've got hopefully a lot of wins to pick up. See you soon. Up the tags.